Okay, number three, <clears throat> we want to do for each of the following, uh, find if possible a whole number that makes the equation true. Okay, so the way we teach this is we begin to work backwards. So sometimes you might be able to figure these out. So A, um, we have three times some unknown, so I'll leave it blank, equals six. So the way this is taught is this is being multiplied. So to uh, if you couldn't figure it out, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see that this is two. But if you couldn't figure it out, you would do the opposite. So instead of multiplying by three, we're going to divide by three, and you're going to do that to both sides of the equal sign. Um, and then this will be just a one times two, and then this will be six times or six divided by three, which is two. So you just get two equals two, or whatever that was. It would have been z equals two. So this first one we get two. All right, on part two, we have to select the correct choice and then uh, fill in the box. So this time we had uh, 30 equals 15 plus three times z. I think we got someone joined. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, so we would combine what we could. <clears throat> so the uh, actually you couldn't because you have to do multiplication first. And three times z, you will not be able to add those. That's what most people want to do, but you have to follow order of operations. <clears throat> so we're going to work backwards. Um, we're going to subtract 15. And that will go away and 30 minus 15 will leave us with 15 and then we have 3 times Z or you can just write it as 3Z and then to undo multiplication you divide by 3 here and whatever you do to one side you do to the other and then that will leave us with 5 equals Z and so we do get a solution uh, for this one Z is 5 And we have one part left. Uh, we want to select the correct answer choice. If necessary, uh, fill in the answer box with your choice. So now we have <clears throat> this uh, system up here. Let me just erase and start over so I can have some more room. So throughout this uh, section in the book, you've probably seen some of those properties. Uh, C is giving us one such property. We have Z times two plus five and that equals um, z times two plus z times five okay so what you want to notice is they've just used the distributive property so if I was just working this side and I did z times each of these z times two and then z times five Okay. this side now looks exactly like this side so no matter what you pick for Z since both of them are the same uh, it will work so Z can be any whole number to make this true so um, any whole number will make this equation true so no matter what you pick for Z it's going to be the same on both sides <clears throat>